Hello and welcome, I'm Sim UK, I'm a full-time YouTuber and games critic. Today I'm going to be reviewing Rugby 18. Is this review for you? Well, if you're looking for ultimate realism in your gaming, then yes, this review is meant for you. If, however, you get upset and cannot embrace the challenge when games are just too difficult or too demanding, then no, this is likely not the right review for you. That being said, everyone is welcome here and I do respect and appreciate all thoughts and opinions. So I do encourage you to leave me feedback in the comment section below. Live the intensity of the greatest matches. Play as the most prestigious teams and championships. Aviva Premiership Rugby, Pro 14, National Teams. Master all the game phases. Face other players online and build up your dream team in my squad mode. This game is developed by Echo Software or Eco Software and published by Big Ben Interactive. It was released on the 27th of October 2017, so this review is coming at you really late, but I'll explain where that is in a minute. At the moment, you can find this game from anywhere between £5 and £40. Echo Software are experienced developers, but none of their sports-related titles have been received particularly well. New game key features. Vast coverage of rugby league and tournaments, plus career and management options. Sounds pretty good. Lead your favourite club to the top in career mode. Play full seasons in league mode and rewrite history in the match of the week. Build up your dream team in my squad mode by recruiting your favourite players from over 2,000 rugby men. Challenge your friends and players around the world in one-on-one -on -one matches online or on the same screen. Sounds perfect, doesn't it? The quick review is this. Whenever the Six Nations is on, regardless of how England are playing, I think back to my childhood and the fun my brothers and I used to have playing Jonah Lonu rugby. You remember that? You're too old. Still to this day, I have not managed to replace the excellence of that game, and I really desperately hoped the reviews surrounding Rugby 18 were just wrong. Sadly, they are not wrong. They are absolutely spot on. This game is seriously undernourished and just does not deliver. At full price on Steam, Rugby 18 until a couple of weeks ago was 39 99 and at that price, I 100% do not recommend this game. I bought this game a couple of weeks back for £10, and at that price, I only recommend it if you are seriously desperate for a rugby union fix. At the moment, or the last time I looked at least, this game was just £5 on Steam, and at that price, I think actually I might recommend it. But be aware that Rugby 18 has not had a patch since 2017, it's effectively dead. And if you do buy Rugby 18, you will not feel immersed. You will be frustrated, and ultimately, you will still be looking for that Rugby Union fix. If you want a more in-depth review, then keep watching. From my perspective, the UI is less than acceptable. It is clean, it's modern, and to some extent, it's intuitive visually. Never before have I been forced to use the right thumbstick forced to use the right thumbstick in order to navigate a game's menu system. Add to the fact that this must be done on controller one only. At one stage, my Xbox 360 controller connected as player two, and despite there being no other controller connected, Rugby 18 point blank refused to let me navigate the menu. To some extent, you can use the keyboard, but only to navigate across the main menu. You still need the right thumbstick to further delve into each of the main menus in the menus. It's just disgracefully bad. The graphics are okay, but I cannot offer any more praise than that. The animations have huge gaping holes in them, which totally break the immersion and ruin the game on a consistent basis. The game performs well, there's not really any stutters or significant issues that I can talk about. But the audio and, well, 
The music we'll just forget about, but the audio, the in-game audio, is poor at best. The commentary is seriously lacklustre. How on earth did they manage to get the license to make this game? The game does ship with some tutorials, but they're minimalistic at best. There's no button configuration option available at all. It's set up the way they want you to use it, and that's the way you're going to use it. Unfortunately, the way that the controls are set up does kind of put you into a position where you quite often need to have two thumbs. And I'm, unfortunately, well, I do have two thumbs, it's just that they're on different hands which makes it a, a bit difficult to use at times. The game is semi-realistic. It does have its moments, but they are few and far between. Often the immersion and realism is broken by the many gaps in the player animation, the lack of player movement or position, and poorly implemented and thought-out controls. It's a title I could pick up when in desperate need of some rugby union. But I'd be unlikely to actively participate for very long, as I would just get frustrated by the restrictive movement and gameplay experience. This is Rugby 18's biggest disappointment. First of all, let me clarify, I'm not going to discuss the game's state at launch. It's bad enough now, and by all accounts, it has improved considerably. The game does not always support 360 degree direction from your controller. You didn't mishear me. The game has basically 16 directional points available on the controller at certain times and introduces many gaping holes in player movement. This lacking aspect is further confounded by the fact that to win a maul, ruck or scrum, you are required to move a small semicircle so that it stays within another. This is performed on an arc, and as there are only 8 angles of reference available, it's obviously impossible to match them 100%. Against the hardest opponents, this will almost always mean that you won't win any of the rucks, mauls or scrums, and turnovers are a distant fantasy. Equally, this failure of the game will result in your lines being broken often, and as your players are unable to turn smoothly and take chase, 95% of all breaks will result in a try, no matter how far they have to travel. Tackles can be performed using the B button or by using the right thumbstick from further away, but selecting the player you want is often a bit of a lottery and you might have to throw three or more players before you get the right one in the right place. This alone is enough for me to write this game off, but unfortunately there are actually more negative points to consider. Should you try and kick or grubber the ball, the default direction to kick is always directly ahead and not up the pitch, which is 90% of the time where a kicker would be thinking about kicking the ball. Kicking is made worse by the extremely slow kick mechanic and the even slower direction movement, which is absolutely horrendous. Often players are stuck in their previous animation, allowing players to simply walk past them completely unopposed. The truth is, this game has real potential, but it's absolutely terrible as it is. Without a single patch or update for over a year, this game is now effectively dead. He missed him, they've got space out wide. An attempted tackle by Moeki, but he comes up empty. The ball sticking in there, it doesn't want Hamu Rupert. It's probably the best rugby union title on the market at the moment. But my word, it's not one that I will remember fondly for years to come, like Jonah Lomu Rugby. Well defended by Bennett. Unlike the majority of sports game developers, in my humble opinion, any future sports related title released under the game development company Eco Software or Echo Software should be potentially avoided at all costs. They seem to share no care, no attention or even any passion for the sport they claim to be creating for. 
Whoever it was that passed these decisions as acceptable should be pretty ashamed of themselves. Rugby is a wonderful sport, full of passion, bravery and heart. Rugby 18 displays not a single one of these values and ultimately is a disgrace to the game. To sum up then, what's positive about this game is that it does have a career, it does cover the majority of teams and players across a wide range of rugby spectrums. But honestly, the negatives of this game, there are just too many to mention. What I'd like to see is a big development team like Big Ant to take over the development of rugby union games from this point on. If you haven't heard of Big Ant, they're an Australian dev team and they have a, a rugby game of their own called Rugby League Live. It's not perfect by any means, but in comparison to a game like this, it's so much better. It's just a shame that they don't accommodate rugby union. Anyway, I'm Sim UK. This is not one of my favourite reviews to have made, but sometimes these reviews do have to be made. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Until next time, goodbye for now. Game over, victory for Van. It wasn't. Thank you.